Hi everybody, it's Bobby from Skate It Here. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a brand new video for you where we are going to teach you how to change your collar clamp. Are you ready? Let's get to the video. So one of the most common questions that we get here at Skate Earth is how do I change this? It's a simple maintenance question and so we're here to help you. If anything, this is like the first step of becoming a master scooter mechanic and that's what we want for you. So changing your scooter clamp, you know, it's as simple as just a few bolts. But the most tricky thing that you're going to come across if you're not in the know is, hey, what collar clamp do you need? What is your compression that you're running on your scooter? And it's easy enough to check. I mean, either A, if you've got like a complete uh, scooter, you can go onto our website if it's uh, on there or go onto Google and check it there. And so there's really only sort of four compressions that you're going to be running. So it's going to be one of those. Okay, so here's a couple of examples of some uh, clamps. We've got a double clamp here from Urban Art, and we've also got an SCS compression clamp here as well. Now, obviously, you can see the major difference there being that this is like a four bolt clamp uh, right here. So, double check what compression you're running, and then when you get your new clamp or you do swaps as with your best mate, you know what to get. So, the next step, and believe me, it feels weird to sort of say this, but it's the most common thing that people fall f uh, short of is have the right size tool for the job, seriously. So here I've got a six millimeter Allen key and the bolts for this particular clamp, I guess what, six millimeters. So have the right tool for the job, it's gonna make the job a hell of a lot easier. And also you're gonna avoid rounding off your bolts. And you know, if you've got something that's like a shade bit too big and you're trying to jam it in there, you're gonna end up causing damage to the bolt and that can knacker your clamp and we don't want that. So the next part of the process is now we've got our scooter ready. We're now going to take off this uh, clamp, remove the bars and put the next clamp on. Now, hey, here's a quick little handy tip when you're doing this, just prepare the area. If you're working on a desk or surface and you're worried about scratching it, just put some paper down and make sure that's ready for you to work on. There we go. Right, so we've got our uh, tool right here. We've got the scooter right here. We're going to start with this top uh, bolt. And what you want to do is put some welly behind it and start to unwork it. Now what I do is I like to keep an even pressure on both of the bolts, right? So I'll do a little turny-turny on the top one, a little turny-turny on the bottom one, and then you just find that it uh, is easier to then move your bars off. There you go, just as easy as that. So we're going to carefully put these down so we don't scratch the bars, and we're going to then just take off the collar clamp right there. Right, so we've got our new collar clamp on there and I can see that this isn't running a shim on the inside. So I'm just gonna take this shim out. There we go and pop that on there now. And then pop our bars back on. Just work that down, there we go. So that looks to be about straight. Okay, and then I'm gonna tighten up. Now again, it's all about the pressure. You want to make sure that you keep an even pressure across two bolts. If you just like uh, completely go to town on the one bolt and then not the other bolt, it's not an even pressure. So you, you, you might end up sort of like pinching the bars. So I am literally just turny, turny, turny on the one, turny, turny, turny on the other. And that's how you're going to just get this nice even pressure overall. If you happen to have like a torque Allen key, which will allow you to put the right level of pressure on, that's always good to use. But my rule of thumb is make it so that it's tight, but not over tightened. So when it comes for the next time that you've got to remove it, you literally got to end up sort of like potentially damaging the bolt to take it off. Keep your tools with you so that like, you know, if it needs to be just a little bit, you know, tighter, you can just put that on there. And there you go. So now, look at that. Our clamp is changed, we're on, and we're ready to ride. And that is as it, how simple it is to change your collar clamp. Okay then, so let's bring this back into a summary here for you. So what I've done is I've A, checked what compression I'm running, B, got my clamp, C, got my tool which is gonna fit for it, and I've loosened off the bolts, taken off the bars, and I've put the new clamp on. Now what I did was I made sure that I double checked 
what was needed for this compression. So I saw that this uh, clamp here didn't have a shim, so I took the shim off this one, and there you go, it fit nicely. It basically all went back together the way it like originally was, but with your new clamp. So make sure that you keep an eye out for those little details, otherwise you run the risk of potentially damaging your scooter, and that's not what we're about. So there you go. I hope that this video has helped you in order to be able to now change your clamp and have that freedom to hey, get in there and you know make it your own, make it custom. That's what we want. All right then, folks. So if you've got any questions, hey, get in touch with us. That's what we're here for. Uh, either leave them down below in the comments because we always love to hear from you or don't forget, you can always speak to our customer service experts on our website via the live chat function. Use that service or email or call us. Hey. Those, uh, those older methods are always there as well. All right then, hey, do us the favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Help us grow in 2021. That is what we're all about. And tick that notification bell so you'll be kept up to date for when the next videos just like this one are hitting. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll be Bombi from Skatehood.